Hello you cock drunk dingoes, Jim Sterling here and this is City Bus Simulator New Yoik! Another Aerosoft classic that I can't wait to get into. In fact, let's get rid of this shit right now. Here we are! New Yoik, New Yoik, home of some of my favourite things, such as Gremlins 2 The New Batch, and some other things. Interesting to note the uh, American flag for patriotism, the cars, and uh, New York's most famous fixture, Stasis, which is put on all pedestrians to try and slow down the amount of foot traffic that you get on the streets. Uh, the pavement can get very congested, so for about two hours a day, uh, the recent New York mayor, Mayor Dulio Hulihuli, has instituted little stasis vents on the ground that kind of permeate this gas. This it's not poisonous. It's 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 quasi safe. Uh, that that kind of filters up through the streets and freezes individuals in place to allow other passers-by to to go through the streets unhindered. Anyway. As is customary for these uh, particular games, I always play, if you're a new subscriber, hello, there have been many lately, if you're new to my to my rubbish, uh, I dive right into a game, a uh, sight unseen, without really much practice, and uh, just see what it's like. Cheating ever so slightly on this one, if only for the fact that I tried to do a video on it already, and the wrong mic, there's a GTA uh, looking artwork there, a bit pretentious. Mm. Anyway, <clears throat> so I already tried to give it a little go, but uh, that's fine. So obviously what we're going to do is have a look at what's going on here, because I've got so many questions about all of this. We're at the circle line, PR83, and again, cars are going, but the people are just stood here in uh, silent porcelain formation there's a guy there David Schwimmer's 13 year old self I think or his brother David Schwimmer's lesser known brother Bubbles Bubbles Schwimmer there's a guy there with a mangled face just staring at the side of his head um, wouldn't be surprised to see that wouldn't be surprised by that at all uh, lady, looking very pensive, but, but studious as she listens to him and what he's got to say on the nature of, of little known, these days, 90s sci-fi show Farscape. He is the foremost Farscape expert, president of the fan club for many years running, and is telling these two individuals all about it. Here we see YouTube celebrity Angry Joe having freshly shaved his uh, elfin face but kept his customary hairstyle uh, with his girlfriend Petula Lalula that's her name now, that's the name of her with her scary eldritch collarbones you can see the collarbones there, very frightening this lady here with her weird mashed up face, same collarbones very frightening indeed there's Bubble Shrimmer again and here we see Joe uh, looking at himself. This gentleman, apparently, I'm going to guess, has gone back in time. He's here from the future to check out his own ass. City Bus Simulator, of course, tells us of a bleak future where time travellers go back in time to sexually objectify themselves. He's just walking along. He's in, in a haters gonna hate sort of uh, pose. He's enjoying life. He doesn't care. Everything's good in this guy's world. But he doesn't realise that behind him he is being ruthlessly attacked. Attacked with with the eyes. Just checking out his uh, whole little toot department there. And he doesn't know. He doesn't recognise him because he's wearing different coloured jorts. So... They say a picture's worth a thousand words, and I think we've managed to tell an entire story there. Shocking. Meanwhile, the couple that's over there is also over here being ruthlessly checked out by Jay Leno, who has had a chin reduction 
and is just staring right at him. He's into young love. And then there's this fella, who, oh my god, that face. So angry. So angry. Kind of like this guy, who's just depressed. Because she's angry, because she wants to go over to the Edis stand. She wants to go get herself something from the cafe, clearly. And he's just smiling and pretending not to listen to her. Too busy looking at the, what's that, the UBS store. That's what that is. Sorry, the UBS. Gotta pronounce it how it's written. He wants to go buy packages. And he's like, well, it's my money, so I'm gonna. And him, their son, Dungy Plunkus, that's his name, is just looking off sadly because he hates it when she argues and he churlishly ignores her. What the fuck is the cat doing over there? Just keep hearing this smashing noise. Good asshole. Anyway, this is happening here again, so that's sad. Right, I think it's time to get this bus sorted out. I'm moving backwards just so I've got my other hand on my cup of coffee that I'm doing a drinking of. Can't be bothered to use my other hand to look around, but I'm gonna now. One thing I did notice that's an issue is there's there doesn't seem to be any jumping or anything. There never normally is. So it's very hard to actually get back onto the sidewalk bit here to go click on that like it's telling me to. You know. I did work out on the last video attempt though that if you get on the corner here and just do it, there we go, if you do it just right. Now let's click on the thing. Oh, it's still doing this, okay, that's good. Clicking doesn't seem to work. I if you can hear that. That's me pressing all of the buttons, all of them. You know, I'm hitting keys for good minute. Oh god! What have we done here? Well, doesn't he just look like the picture of sadness? Oh, we're keeping that. Maybe we can... See, we can't even interact with the fucking... Bus! Ah, ah, ah. Oh, that made me feel ill. There really is nothing to do but to limp along the only living man who as you can tell like he's just given himself very little left to live for this is the basis for a horror story I think Stephen King could have a field day with this a world where cars are well if we look at this sports car it looks like it's driving itself where the people are frozen in time and the vehicles drive themselves and you're the one lone bus driver in this world yeah driving itself oh wait no there's a blacked out dude inside it's like the chair leather has just reshaped itself into a very small guy Oh, that's hideous. It's like a shit remake of 28 Days Later where instead of Silly Ann Murphy walking through London, it's fucking unemployed Laszlo in a world where everyone's all frozen up and shit. I keep having to cut the recording because uh, I don't know what the cat's doing. It keeps making big banging noises. Anyway, of course that's happening over there. Why wouldn't it? I don't know why the game decided it's only going to animate cars and flags. And even with that little animation going on, the frame rate's still fucking struggling. Look at the shitty compressed JPEGs you're using for the sides of trucks. Why are you having a frame rate issue? 
river place. He can't even run! Incidentally, by the way, uh, a little bit of personal, personal public news, I guess, is I'm uh, planning, there's a, there's a decent to good chance I'll be at DragonCon in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, this year, at the end of this month. Uh, a friend of mine is going down and she was thinking of road tripping it down and I was able to get, get a pass myself. Only issue potentially preventing us at the moment is the fact that they're... Uh, a lack of accommodation. Obviously, all the hotels are booked now, and so we're trying to f find out how we're gonna have a roof over our heads. There may be opportunities for people we know, and and you know, floors that can be slept on or whatever. But we, we're trying to work that out. But if we can sort that out, then. Uh, you know, if you're going to Dragon Con, maybe I'll see you there. I'm not got any panels or anything going on, I'm just sort of there. But, uh, I'll look a little, I'll go up there. Hasn't really changed much. Well. I did that. And that really says it all. I think really this man forlornly stood over an upturned trash can while it rains on him really says it all. City bus simulator everyone. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving now.